Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, my goodness. Dang it, at the people. I'm trying to see if my, my participants list will work. Agrophobic Adam, Backwoods Rays, my fantastic guest. And what? Double trouble tonight, y'all. Bobby Stevens. What? What? <laughs> Living and learning life. Prepper X, how are you? Let's see who else I'm missing. That's say living and learning life. Hello, my friend. Awesome, awesome. One so how's how's the echo, y'all? Uh, I can't tell. How are you, Mr. I, I can't Spicy? tell that you have an echo. Um, I can't hear the video. I got it on mute, so I don't know if it's echo or not. Oh. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Elegant Homestead, Christy Betts, Sherilyn Stanfield, how are you? Do y'all hear an echo out in the chat, in the side chat? Y'all let me know. I have been banging my head trying to figure this out. <clears throat> oh, really? Dang it. In the background. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. <clears throat> hey, mouse toes. Well, is the echo is the echo to where it's aggravating? Like it makes the live stream not want to want to be watched. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. I Man, I guess we can just do like sign language, right? <laughs> you don't want my sign language. <laughs> <laughs> See if there's an echo then. Right. Hmm. Yeah, but the other the other camera, the uh, up top camera is actually my cell phone. I've got everything muted with that. So, I don't know. I thought I had it fixed. We didn't hear an echo. <clears throat> oh, it's aggravating. All right, so we're going to try to get through this. <clears throat> and I need to do some more trying to figure. <laughs> Crap. Well, let's see. Josh, put your, mute, put your mic on mute, and I'm going to put mine on mute and let Mama talk. And then whenever we need to come in, we can just unmute it. All right. We can try that. All right. So they are both muted. <clears throat> so do y'all hear an echo anywhere? Hey, Cheryl Gerard, how are you? Anybody hear an echo anywhere at this time? Y'all let me know. Both. No echo now. None. All right. Okay. Well, they can't stay muted. So <clears throat> y'all unmute if you want to say something. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's spicy. <laughs> All right. So I've got the the camera up top set and I'm going to show y'all how I make a complete meal out of Mexican cornbread. Now I had considered not doing a cooking live stream tonight. And, <clears throat> um, so I, let me, let me turn this on while I wait cause I got to heat up my skillet. So I had told, I asked, Josh, Mr. A.K.A. Bobby, I said, so 
do I need to do a cooking live stream or just a talking live stream? Because, you know, work is killing me and, um, you know, what do I need to do? So, <laughs> Josh said, unmute Josh and tell me what you said. Because that, that was funny as heck. What? What about now? Whether when I ask you, did I, did I need to do a cooking live stream or a talking live stream? Oh, yeah. I said, well, me personally, I want you to cook this Mexican cornbread because when you're done, I get to eat it. I said, everybody gets to watch the live stream and drool, but I get to eat it. So I want you to cook the Mexican cornbread. <laughs> You know, it ain't all, it ain't all about <clears throat> it ain't all about, you know, what's best for my channel, what 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 would people like better? He wants to eat. Hello. Why not? Right? Mouse toe says right, there's so no echo with me, so it's definitely spicy. Okay. Spicy unmute so you can talk to me. I'm I'm putting some uh, shortening in my skillet so I can heat it up. And this is what I'm going to use. This is part of it. <clears throat> but I add to it, of course. The uh, Mexican style cornbread and muffin mix. It makes me sad. What makes you sad? That I'm messing the live stream up. Well, we need to figure it out. Honey, honey, just saying. <clears throat> so I'm going to use two containers, two packages of this. <laughs> Mouse toe said, no echo now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. He's far, he's far from innocent. I, I, I'll say that. Yeah. Spicy innocent? Really? All right, so I'm going to add some flour. I'm going to add about a half a cup of self-rising flour <clears throat> and about a half a cup of self-rising cornmeal. Do this. Can y'all see good? <clears throat> Now, are we doing are we doing cornbread from scratch or from a packet? It's both. I, I showed okay. you the package, boy. See, this is what I start with. Oh, it's upside down. Yeah. There we go. I start with this. <clears throat> All right. All right. So I've got two of my fresh eggs to put to it. My, sk my skillet's starting to smoke. Let me move it off the far. <clears throat> and I've got sweet cream style corn. So I'm going to put some of that in there. I'm going to put about half. Do you have your auxiliary on, Mom? Have what on? Your auxiliary mic. Uh, not that I know of. I don't have an auxiliary mic. I thought you had one. I, I unplugged it. Okay. That mouse toe said that she thinks long term you need an auxiliary mic, and I thought I saw you put it on earlier. Yeah, I took it off because it wouldn't. I couldn't hear. <clears throat> I didn't have the right kind or whatever. Is it still echoing, y'all? So I've got my powdered milk here. And I'm going to add some to it so I get it to the right consistency. I 
I need my glasses so I can see the chat. Dang it. I'm going to go get my glasses. <clears throat> Now, because my um my chat moderators are not helping me. Hello Two Family Homestead, welcome to the live stream. Hey Two Family, how are you? Hey Two Family Homestead, what is going on? Welcome to the live stream. All right, I'm going to add some of the shop, shop cheddar. I don't want no dull cheddar. <laughs> Mouse Toast says, oh, Lord, clean up the chat. She can see now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a friend right there. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, we we over here watching you make food. We ain't worried about the chat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, so let me get my skillet hot again. <clears throat> Hey Stella, welcome to the live stream. I don't think we've said hey to you yet. Who? Hey. Uh, hey Stella. Awesome. Hey Stella, welcome to the live stream. Well, you, you'd have to say cheese. you'd have to say hey hey Stella because her name's hey hey Stella. hey 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 hey. <laughs> Nothing but the real stuff. We'll do all right. that fakeness. Fake news. <laughs> Grumpy Old Man does prep and also joined us. I don't know if you saw that or not. Grumpy awesome. Old Man, what's going on? Hey, Mom Slayer, how are you? <clears throat> awesome, awesome. I love it. I love it. All right, so my skillet is probably getting good and warm. That's done. This, this, ladies and gentlemen, is bison. Say what? It's bison, ground bison. Can I tell you, I had a wonderful, wonderful friend of mine turn me on to bison. And I love it. So where'd you kill a bison at? <laughs> yeah, you gotta be good to do that to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so my skillet is hot tamale and I have shortening <clears throat> in the in the skillet. So now I'm going to add some of this to the skillet. I hear it sizzling. That's a good sign, y'all. Sizzling. Right. I'm going to spread it out. This is how you have everything with your meal in one skillet. And then, well, I, do, I do that every time I eat. I just keep shoving food in. <laughs> I'm going to take this bison, sprinkle it on top.
I got one pound of ground bison here. Dang. Wash my hand. You got that right, backwards law. I'm looking at my couch for sure. What? Backwards law says Bobby looks like he's licking his jaw. <laughs> I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese on top of this. <laughs> and then I'm putting the rest of this on top. <laughs> No onions or roadtail tomatoes or nothing? Nope, I don't need all that. <laughs> and that's the reason why I get those package mixes. Mikey Murray, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing? Mickey Murray, sorry. Hey, I need to um I need to grab her. Like a uh, you can't it's a live stream. You can't touch her. <laughs> Somebody grab that Mickey girl. All right, y'all. So now I got everything in there. And I'm fixing to put it in the oven. <clears throat> and then we can visit. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Right. All right. Let me wash my hands. All right. I do want to take a moment right quick and uh, say rest in peace, uh, President Bush. Uh, they laid him to rest today. I watched that uh, on the news today. It was uh, very touching, the the tribute they done to him. Um, his son, President Bush, got up to speak. It, man, I had some tears in my eyes. Uh, I had the... I had the oven set at 400, Adam. <clears throat> there we go. Awesome, awesome. All right, so now let's see if it'll change. Are y'all going to talk? Uh, yeah, we was, didn't want to talk over you. Oh, it won't change. I'll be dang. What, what won't change? The view. Oh. Um, well, it's, it's changed to, to your view. It hasn't changed over to me or Bobby yet. Yeah. <clears throat> There's my lovely, my first lovely guest, y'all. Mr. Spicy Spicy. What's going on? <laughs> oh, it's so sweet, Pepper. And there's my next lovely guest. <clears throat> Mr. Bobby Bobby. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Josh just he said <laughs> he's sitting there like a bump on a log and he's like, oh, oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <Yeah. clears throat> 
I got her. I got her, Pepper X. I think I did. Say something, Mickey Murray. Right? Smile, Josh. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, exactly. Pretty true. Nina would double trouble. <laughs> It was, it was only a matter of time before she got us both on here causing trouble. Right. <clears throat> Black boy Law said he's getting ready to run out the door and across the yard to get some food. I, I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm watching. As soon as she pulls it out of the oven, I'll be like, well, y'all have a good night. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> So I'm having to manually change this, and it's aggravating. So, Agrifolk Madison said, "Smile, you're on candid camera." Is it called candid or candy camera? Which it's one candid. Is it? Oh, well, that's not uh -oh. right. Pepper X says he has a suspicious vehicle out front. He needs to take Odin out to go to the bathroom. Holy cow. Dang. Get him, get him boy. <clears throat> he will, too, won't he, Spicy? Yeah, he will. <laughs> Make you wet yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so those of you <clears throat> that are new to the live stream that have not met my lovely guests that I have in here, they are both my boys. <clears throat> Spicy at Backwards yep, Raised yep. is the oldest. Yep, yep. That's him right there. Hello, everybody. Oh, dang. UPS wouldn't deliver because he heard your dog bark. Dang it. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. The UPS hey, Purple Tea Bear. The UPS man around here, when he pulls in the yard, he just gives her two honks and kind of sneaks around the vehicle. And old Callie's out there all gnarly. <laughs> He just was like, you okay? Yep. You okay? You okay? You gonna get me today? <laughs> yep. So, makes it up this, to the very edge of the porch, and he just slides that box up on the edge, and back to the vehicle he goes. But they yeah. always do. Yep. And this one here, y'all, is my middle child, and he, he has got that middle child syndrome bad down down pat he is abused and neglected i am i'm, I'm highly <laughs> abused <laughs> yep abused and neglected golly so now we get to wait <laughs> well, how long do you think it'll go um, I, I'm not sure. I, I cook it until it gets done. That's that's my instructions. <clears throat> yep. Did you just say cook it till it's done? Yep, that's my instructions. And how would these lovely so people know? How to tell when it's done? Because I'm going to show you what I look for when I take it out to see if it's done. <clears throat> That's right, Cheryl. He is middle child deprived. Absolutely. So, Mr. Spicy, sir, what, what, what have you been up to this week? I know you went to the doctor today. I would like an update, please. Oh, my word. I went to the doctor today, three hour drive there, get there, and I'm in the doctor's office for 10 minutes. He walks in, he says, well, uh, Terry, how, how's the wrist going? And I tell him, it'd be a whole lot better if you can get me into physical therapy. 
And he said, oh, you haven't started yet? I'm like, no, I haven't started yet. Six weeks since the last time I've seen you, I haven't done a single session of physical therapy. Well, I, I don't know what happened. I just put in the computer and my nurses do it. I said, well, that's funny. The nurses said that the doctor is the one who has to uh, say you, you can do therapy. I'm like, somebody needs to figure something out. I need physical therapy. Well, as soon as I get home today, I get a phone call. Oh, we, we, we sent the paperwork off to physical therapy, so you should be good to go. Yeah, about time. <clears throat> Dang. My, um, my wrist is about as strong as a wet noodle. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Bobby? Yes. Hang on. I'm trying to figure. Man, this is aggravating. So, <clears throat> um, how did your overnighter go? Do you want to explain what that's about? Well, every once in a while, we do overnight. Well, where we come in at like nine, seven, eight, nine o'clock, something like that. We close at nine. So we try to go in as close to nine as we can because we can work without customers being in the store. So, and usually it involves doing somebody else's job, um, as was this overnighter. Um, so pretty much all we do is we go in and we attack a department or two if need be depending on how many people come in uh to to participate in the overnighter this time it was three people there it was my direct supervisor and me and another associate um and we attacked our lumber department basically straightening everything up making sure all our overhead space was straight and organized making sure all our shelves were full um fully packed out um, at the, on the retail space and a lot of cleaning because the day-to-day uh, -day associates haven't been cleaning like they should. So uh, It's a good thing they have to look at your house. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Busted. Uh, so, you know, over four, five, six weeks with you know, not cleaning properly the department just gets messy. Um, uh, bands, bands laying all over the place, and, uh, boards, you know, run running this way and that way. So we had to go in and straighten all the shelves up and make them look pretty and everything. So that's pretty much what we do when we do an overnight. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. Yeah, his hopefully his um, supervisor won't come to his house because that would be a bad day. <laughs> My house is not dirty; it's just unorganized. Right. Okay. Yeah. Wrong. <laughs> yep. Yep. Just in time, Rippin. Just in time, Rippin. Welcome to the live stream. How you doing, sir? Hey, hey, hey! I missed you. I'm sorry. I see you now in the chat. <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely. So what videos have you put up, Spicy Spicy? Yeah, Lee. I've been putting out a video uh, just about every day. I've got, I had so many videos uh, lined out that I had recorded and edited. Um, I was going to do a video every other day, but if I do that, then um, some of my videos, it will be probably about the end of the month when it needs to get put out. And I need it put out like that day. So uh, right now I've been putting out videos every day, except for today, because I had to, I spent all day on the road going to Texas to see the doctor. But like tomorrow, uh, well, tomorrow I have my live stream. I didn't want to upload a video tomorrow because I have my live stream 
And whenever people watch, get on YouTube and watch later on, they'll see my live stream, kind of watch a little bit of it, and they'll miss my video that I uploaded. So the video that I have going up Friday is a uh, Mystery Tackle Box video. It's not talking about what's inside the Mystery Tackle Box. It's kind of like a commercial uh, for Mystery Tackle Box. But I have that video going up Friday. Saturday, I have a video going up of um, – Christmas presents for our Christmas present ideas for kind of an outdoors type person. Um, and then in, in between all this, I'm trying to film another deer hunt uh, because my first deer hunt, I wasn't too, I wasn't overwhelmed with it. It wasn't the best. I mean, um, for one, I didn't get the deer on camera and um, it wasn't the, the biggest deer in the world. So, I'm working on another deer hunt, so if I get that done, then I'll I'll try to work that. Oh my! Look, I'm just trying to get all this figured out. I need an assistant, <laughs> right? Well, <clears throat> you have like your wifey poo can help you. Yeah, well, she has to watch Major Joe so I can do all this video stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Purple right. X said he thought that was a coyote. I'm telling you, Purple X, it was that deer was probably a little bit bigger than a coyote. It wasn't a really big deer, but I promise you, when I was looking down the lane, it looked way bigger. That's why I took the shot. If I knew it was a smaller deer, I mean, obviously I wouldn't have shot it. But uh, where where I was shooting, that deer was standing about 175 yards down the down range, and I didn't know at the time. Uh, because I really don't walk down that far that much, but the the ground slopes off down, and I didn't know it, it slopes back up. So the deer was standing kind of up on the hill a little bit, so when I'm looking out across the, the lane, the deer looked taller than what it was. So I'm like, oh, that's a that's a good-sized deer. Well, when I when I go to, after I shot, I walk down there, I walk down the hill, I start walking up, I'm like, uh-oh, this is uphill. And um, then, I, of course, I had to spend an hour tracking it through the woods. And when I walked up to it, I'm just like, oh, man, this thing's about the size of a Great Dane. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if I can get my camera to focus on the freezer. Let me show you what Callie, <clears throat> I was talking to FLP the other night, and I was telling him, about Callie and the ice thing. So, <laughs> what? <clears throat> yeah, I don't pay attention to the body in the freezer. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's 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 not a good thing. Oh my God! Yeah, y'all right. Um, I'm still truly blessed. That I do have meat in the freezer for my family. Uh, that's always a good thing. Um, I'm not saying that that I hated that I had. It's just I had to, you know, use a a doe tag on that deer, and it had been great if I could have used it on a bigger doe. But nonetheless, I got meat in the cooler, and it'll be ready in about another four days to start uh, processing out. Yeah, I wish I could get one. Yeah. Have you been hunting? Have you been hunting? No. Well, Freaking you can't see one if you don't go hunting. I know. <clears throat> I know. Don't remind me. Here. <laughs> she is rotten, Christy Betts. She is freaking rotten to the core. <clears throat> Good Lord. Dang, backwards law. Fifteen big old mama deer in the front yard. Holy yeah. crap. That's when you need that's when you need a crossbow. Nobody will hear the shot. Right? <laughs> Well, 
I mean, here, if I walked out the door and there were 15 deer in the front yard, one of them would die. And I wouldn't <laughs> care. I wouldn't need a crossbow because nobody's going to hear the shot anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. <clears throat> Hey, speaking speaking of shooting deer, um, yeah, I need to I need to be for borrowing that three hundred eight, Mama. Oh yeah, yeah, because that three hundred eight Mohawk don't have a, a big kick, and I think I could shoot it better than my three hundred eight. Mm. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. <clears throat> Y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all in my in my hunt videos, you will not see me shooting the gun because <laughs> it is not pretty at all. <laughs> I, my the 308 that I used to hunt with, that's in my uh, gun cabinet back here. It's a uh, single shot. It's a new a New England firearm, a single shot 308. For one, it's got a heck of a kick, and two, uh, well, let me let me pull it out and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. Hey, Jim Beer, how are you? Don't worry about it, sir. It's not. It's not going to happen. I'm just saying. Uh -uh. Oh, my goodness. Hey, something, Mr. Josh. Oh, I lost him. His camera what? went off. No, Your I'm camera? Sorry. I don't see you. There you are. Can you hear me? Yep. I'm here. <clears throat> yeah, but your your camera's black. Right. Hang on. No. Oh. Hang on, y'all. Oh. Are you back? There you are. There you are. Cool. All right. So, um, let me let me show him the gun right quick, Mama. I'm gonna see if I can okay. get this video demonetized hey, real quick. Prepper. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream, Alaska Prepper. How are you? <clears throat> are you are you? Can you see yourself yet, Hunter? Uh, no, not you. Uh, let me see. Oh, okay. I think I can see myself now. All right. So, okay. Uh, this this is my 308 New England firearm, a uh, single shot. It's a breakover. And uh, it only holds one round. So that's the only reason why I'm doing this with this with this rifle, but. As you can see right here, it has it has an opening for the grip, so it's kind of like a pistol grip. So I shoot this left-handed, and whenever whenever I get up in the stand, I go ahead and I prop it up in the window, and it's already there. Um, and whenever a deer steps out and I, I see it, I just I just prop it up on my shoulder, and I can hold it with my left hand, hold it against my shoulder. And I just look out the scope, and I pull the trigger. Um, now, if, if it was one to where I have to hold it like a regular rifle, I wouldn't do that. But because I have this pistol grip on here, I can hold it up and hold it and pull down on the stand. But whenever I pull, <laughs> whenever I pull the trigger, it, do, it does kind of jump up a little bit, and it's not very pretty. But I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I spent probably about a month, about well, about two months practicing with my rifle uh, before going out and deer hunting. So I do feel comfortable shooting it left-handed. I'm just afraid to put my right hand on it because of the of the recoil. I don't want the recoil to mess up anything in my hand, especially without me going to physical therapy yet. So that's why I'm hunting with with the 308 right now. Spicy, everybody wants to know what kind of scope you got on there. Uh, this this is a scope that my grandpa put on here. Uh, this is a Tasco uh, scope, but 
it has a magnification of 32. Um, I can I can see on out there pretty far. I t- I tell you that real quick. Um, the lowest power sounds like uh, you got a good gun there. It it is a good gun. It's a really good gun. I mean, it's accurate. Like I, that deer that I shot in my hunt video was I think I said 170 yards, and I shot an inch low and three inches over. But again, I'm I'm shooting with my left hand. If I knew it was that far of a shot, I wouldn't have took the shot. But um, 200 yards. If I was shooting right-handed, I could I could shoot 200 yards and get a a group about the size of a cup. Dang it. Yep, yep. <clears throat> well, hopefully some weekend, because that's the only time I can hunt is on the weekend or a holiday or whatever. Yeah. Um, hopefully sometime soon I'll be able to be able to do something. <clears throat> if not, that Pepper X dude is going to take me hunting. <laughs> Just saying. Y'all help me keep up with the <laughs> chat. I'm fixing to check the cornbread. Brent Brick said, no wonder that beer that deer looked big. I know. The lowest setting magnification is eight. So um for something that's, you know, fifty yards, it's you're gonna see it way up close. Um and then this thing will focus at three hundred and fifty yards. So I can get something all the way 350 yards close and I can focus it in with this up here. Um, and let me look at the numbers. Eight, eight by thir- uh, Let's see, 832 by 44. That is the scope uh, parameters. It's, it's a good scope. Right. It's a good gun. All right, let me show this right quick. Oh, good God, this sucker's heavy. So this is what my cornbread looks like right now, but it's not brown enough on top for me. So I'm gonna put it back in there. <clears throat> awesome, awesome. Getting there y'all. I ordered me, Mama ordered me some uh, 223 rounds for my uh, AR-15, and whenever they come in, then I can take my AR-15 hunting, but the only rounds that I have for right now are full metal jackets, so, and you can't hunt with those, so. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So, <clears throat> Josh, Mr., Mr., Mr. Josh, a.k.a. Bobby, we've I'm been here. going out back and uh, target practicing with the AR. And the new gun that I got, pretty excited about that. Pretty excited. Uh, um, um, what new gun? <laughs> I knew you was going to ask that. Are you Which talking about mine? Uh, what? Are you talking about my gun? What gun? My pistol. What pistol is that, honey, honey? My Glock. Nine millimeter. Nope. I ain't seen no Glock nine millimeter around here. Because I told mama to put it up. No, not that one. <laughs> Hang on, oh, I'll show you. Yeah, let me see. I'm, I'm, oh man, look, I need to go to Mama's house. <laughs> Two family homes said, said, I don't think that cornbread would have made it back in the oven around here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
This one, Mr. Spicy. Oh, let me let me put it back. Let me put it back. I got you to see that. Um, let me. What is that? Is that mine? That's a spring. No, no sugar. That's a Springfield XD forty caliber. Oh, Springfield! You must have been talking to some people up north. <laughs> Keep a check on my bread. Oh, hang on, y'all. Oh, I see it now. I'm looking on the YouTube um, video. I see it in Springfield. All right, y'all. This is what I got. <laughs> Old man said a Glock is just as is just a block in my opinion. What? Hey, Amen. <laughs> I'll put that Glock up against that XD anytime. And you'll lose every time. <clears throat> well, All I right, would. we ain't arguing. Well, we're not arguing over the guns, okay? Just saying. Well, you you started it. I did not. I ain't start no argument. I said, me and Josh has been going out practicing. You don't want getting all offended. Yeah, because it's not a Glock. Uh huh. There's my bread, y'all. How does it look? Uh, it looks like it needs to be in my belly. <laughs> Josh, if you turn my, if you uh, duck out of my live stream. Before it's time, you're gonna be in trouble. Well, it's, uh, <laughs> you got you got 15 minutes, so <clears throat> mom, uh, Kaylin Strain wants to know if you, uh, what kind of cornmeal did you use? A mix, or you straight up cornmeal and added ingredients to it? Well, you're gonna have to watch the beginning of the video, Kaylin, because I showed everything that I put in it, and I threw the pack away, so I'm, um, I don't have it. <clears throat> I've well, used a combination of the Mexican cornbread mix, and then I added to it um, the Martha White yellow self rising cornmeal. Um, and then I added. The Martha White, oh, use the camera. The Martha White self rising flour. <clears throat> Hang on, I gotta get quick. Oh, is that is that how this is gonna go? You're gonna sit over there and eat it on the live stream? Um, and I, I can't have any of it. <laughs> Josh, just hang on there, buddy. I want to show the inside of it, and y'all will figure out why I like I like making this. Callie, you are not getting this. It is not for you, sister. I wish y'all could see her. What is this? What is this blue cornmeal, Kaylin? What What is this all about? Is this some cornmeal that's done turnt? You know, done turnt blue. <laughs> that blue cornmeal is um, dyed with GMO, so I wouldn't be eating it. All right. So, do y'all see the inside of that? I don't know how good it's coming up on on the camera. It's hot. I know that. I bet that would be good with some ground up coon meat. Uh uh. Boy, hush your mouth. <laughs> 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 hush your mouth. Golly. So, this yep, is how I make it. And it makes a complete meal. So, you don't have to have any meat, you don't have to have any sides. 
um, because it has the corn, the cheese, the ground bison, and the bread all in one, all in one meal. Yep. Man, oh man, need you a big old glass of milk. Right. Well, I don't drink milk, so it'd be sweet tea for me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that sweet tea jug. Um, okay. I need to fill my glass up anyway. <laughs> Mouse Toe says, oh, hell no to that coon meat. <laughs> coon meat is actually rather delicious. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> Well, as soon as I catch one in my trap, I'm going to find out for myself. All right, so the sweet tea jug, is that what you're talking about? Are you trying to diss yeah. on my sweet tea jug? You need to change it over your camera. Oh, there we go. It changed over. Yeah, yeah, that's that sweet tea jug. Holy right. macaroni. Don't be dissing on my sweet tea jug, boy. You've been needing to add a pot of tea to that to the stove over there. Because I see you just got the last drop. <laughs> There's a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody, I can't remember who it was. Cheers, y'all. Somebody asked me about the strawberry preserves. I think it was Cheryl. So this is the part, the partial jar that I made, and it's set up. Dang, looks delicious. Oh my god, you just don't, you just don't have a clue. <laughs> Yep, yep. <clears throat> Absolutely. FLP said coo meat is greasy. Uh, yeah, they are. They are one of the greasy type meats. But um, I've been looking up some old recipes um, on the interweb. I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm gonna try it out. I've never had it before, and uh. I try everything once. Uh uh. No. Let me see how this tastes. Look, all I did, all I did was move the plate. And 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 old Cali girl is like in here. <laughs> It's meat, bread, cheese, and corn. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Coon equals nasty. Well, Mama, how's that bison taste? Fantastic. Dang. Yep, yep. So, how we doing on time, y'all? Uh, it is, it is 753. Awesome. I sure wish I was here. I'm about to be. Don't, don't you worry. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's right. Uh, FLP uh, had me a old coon skin hat, and I'm I'm wanting to get me a coon because I want to try to make my own coon skin hat. Uh, kill it. Kill it, clean it, skin it, uh, tan it, and make the hat. Mm -mm. Nope. There's got to be places that sell coon skin hats. If I can figure it out, it'll be nice. me. <laughs>
All right, y'all. Well, <clears throat> um, I definitely appreciate y'all hanging out with me. So now I'm going to go and uh, eat my supper. And uh, I appreciate my, my special guest hanging out with me. Mr. Backwoods Raised, I love your bunches. What you got coming up? Um, um right now nothing uh this weekend is supposed to be raining friday and saturday i think everybody's getting rain friday and saturday but um i will have me some videos recorded and those two days i'll spend editing and uploading those two days so i'll have some videos come out for sure awesome well i'm glad you got to join me tonight oh yeah mr bobby Mr. Bobby, a.k.a. Mr. Josh, a.k.a. Mr. Bobby. That's so, me. <laughs> so I guess you'll be busting in my door here soon? About, uh, well, depending on how long you drag this closing out, it, it's probably about five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Do y'all see what I put up with? Do y'all see? I'm going to go lock my front door now. Let me Hold on. Let me lock the door. And then I'll close out the chat. <laughs> I'm just messing. I'm just messing with you. I ain't gonna knock you well, out. Uh, look, right, real guys. quick. I don't, I don't know if you saw, but Mouse Toes wants to know how your phone is connected up there. Um, it is. It, it is redneck. It is, it is redneck. It is redneck. Can you see? <laughs> Ta-da! Redneck. Redneck. Is that a rubber band? <laughs> no, that is the uh, that is the cord, the charging cord. Uh, okay. <laughs> yep. No, hold, holding the phone onto the um, to the clamp. Yes, it is a rubber band. <laughs> yep. It's a rubber band. <laughs> Hey, don't be dissing because it works. It works. <laughs> yep. All right, y'all. In 30 minutes, I will be on the Prepper X channel with the ladies' night chat. If y'all haven't checked it out, hit them ladies up, the honey badgers. I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> and uh, I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to go stuff my face. Yep, All yep. Right, Mom, are you, right, you going to be able to? Are you going to be able to join me tomorrow on my live stream or no? Hopefully. Yep. All right. Yep. It all depends on the work schedule, darling. All right. Well, I'll um, I'll message you then. Okay. All right. I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming and hanging out with me, and I'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. Bye, everybody.